everybody, Backyard Bullion here. Welcome one and all to this absurdly large pile of silver that we've laid out on the table here. We've also got some gold and platinum to showcase with you guys. Now I'd love to tell you all that this is all mine. This is a full stack video and I'm showcasing all of my silver today, but it's not. If you've just seen this video for the first time, not seen my channel before, this is the results of the recent European Mint Group order via the Silver Forum and all of this silver, well the majority of it, some of it in here is mine as well, but the majority of this silver is other people's and they've purchased it through me to save money on shipping and blah 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 blah. I've talked about group orders so many times in the previous unboxings. If you've not checked those out, probably best to start there. I'll put some links down in the description below so you can see all of this coming out of the boxes. But today we're going to be showcasing it for you as best we can, showing you what people have ordered. We've got a, uh, a big list of everything. We'll go through that in a moment as well. But we're going to be talking about the reason why this giant pile of silver exists, in my opinion, or at least why it's quite so big. And that is, of course, Brexit, everybody's favourite topic. Now, I've been putting off making a Brexit video for, or like another Brexit video, because I've done Brexit videos in the past, but I've been putting them off for a couple of weeks now, because we just don't really know what's going to happen. But in the last week or two, we've seen that there's probably going to be a delay or a deal in March. It's probably going to be a delay, in my opinion. I don't know. But there's still a possibility of a complete fall off the cliff, no deal Brexit, which would be a big issue. So we're going to talk about the permutations of what that's going to mean for silver investing in the UK and potential implications it might have for the kind of global silver market as well as we go through all of this. So, yeah, it's going to be a big video today. There's going to be a lot to showcase, a lot of interesting topics to talk about. I would love to know your opinions on Brexit uh, as it relates to silver. I'm not really, I don't want this to turn into a merits of Brexit versus demerits of Brexit video. Uh, you know, I don't really want to go into the whole remain leave hoopla. That's just not what we're talking about. Uh, you know, there's merits to both sides and I don't really want to talk about, I want to talk about how it's going to affect silver. So I'd love to know your opinions on what's going to happen to silver investing in the UK after Brexit, depending on which scenario ends up happening. Of course, everything that I'm saying here today, just my own opinion, is meant for entertainment purposes. So any financial decisions you make having watched this video are yours and yours alone. So we'll get that little disclaimer out of the way. So here's an overview of what everybody's ordered. There's, as I said, close to two and a half thousand ounces worth of silver on the table here. We're still uh, going to, um, we've got one more box to go after this. We just haven't got the room to show it all, but we've got the uh, 2019 rectangle coins, uh, rectangle coin bars from the Perth Mint and the 2019 Oriental Borders still to come. Those are going to be very cool indeed. So if you want to have a quick look at what everybody's ordered, I always find that really interesting. So uh, you know what's popular, what's not popular. Uh, as you can see, Oriental Borders, very popular. Britannia is very popular. Perth Mint Dragon coins, very popular. Krugerrand's very popular as well as, uh, you know, the Queen's Beast coins. Those are always popular. 10 ounce Queen's Beast, you can see the huge wall of 10 ounce Queen's Beasts that we've got at the back, as well as some 10 ounce Kookaburras. Uh, these are very, very cool in my opinion. I love these. And it's nice that we've got the 2000, here it is, the 2019 Kilo 10 ounce and in fact one ounce coin as well. There's the little tiny one ounce coin to put on top of its Kilo. Well, isn't that just fun? I've, well, I guess that one's going to be mine if I've scratched the capsule. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to leave that one on the floor because otherwise we're going to fall over the whole stack. Here is the kilo and 10 ounce coin. Uh, it's very, very cool indeed. I really like this design. I love the shimmer of the water there. It's very cool indeed. But we'll showcase those another time. Lots of 10 ounce coins being very popular. And I think just generally the message is that silver is very popular. Here's the little one ounce coin that I picked, uh, dropped on the floor. It seems to be all right. No scratches on the capsule, but we'll keep that for us as I did order one of them for me anyway. But what is for sure is that silver is incredibly popular because of Brexit. Now, as I said, don't want this to be a merits or demerits kind of conversation about Brexit, leave, remain. There's going to be benefits to both sides. I'm going to talk about the three different permutations that might happen. Although there are really only two permutations in the long run, there's going to be basically a deal or a no deal and we'll fall off the cliff. And the fall off the cliff uh, or no deal type situation is the one that worries me most when it comes to silver investing in the UK. So we'll start with that one because that's the biggie and that's the thing that people are scared about, I think, in a way, which is fueling a lot of this purchasing. You know, people are trying to get as much silver in hand as they can before that potential no deal situation, because if that happens, we will have to pay 
taxes on our silver when we buy it from a UK dealer. You have to do that now anyway, but because we're in the European Union currently still for the next 30 odd days before that all ends potentially, uh, we can buy from another country and we can pay the, the rate of VAT or tax in that country and then we can import it into the UK and because we're all part of the European Union there are no, e uh, there are no import taxes so we can get it very very cheap compared to the UK. Of course a no deal situation would mean that we basically lose that avenue of silver purchasing so the cheapest ounce of silver that anybody in the UK could buy new it's very important that because there are going to be second-hand market coins and we'll talk about the implications for that market as well. Uh, we are going to basically end up having to pay 20% more for all of our silver. So whether it be a, uh, an Oriental Border Britannia, nice premium coin like this, it'll have an extra 20% on top, which is again, you know, paying 20% more on the premium as well as the silver content as well. So, you know, lots of... Lots of things to consider in this. It's not just going to be the price of silver which goes up. The price of the premiums will also increase too. And, uh, you know, that is going to, in my opinion, really, really affect the, uh, the silver, serious silver investing. Because for us here in the UK, uh, we buy silver because, I mean, I, why does anybody buy silver? It's going to depend on everybody's individual circumstances. But, you know, I buy silver because I think it's a really good uh, price metal at the moment. I think it's a very... Uh, it's, it's a metal that's got a lot of potential. It's uh, a metal which has got a huge kind of ratio to gold at the moment, the big shiny yellow stuff, and there's potential in the future for it to uh, come back down a little bit and you can then trade your silver in for gold, which is essentially what I'm trying to do. I'm playing a longer game whereby I can increase that gold pension stack. I'm talking of gold, look how awesome this is. For those of you who are wondering, this is the start of the Backyard Bullion Hand Poured Gold adventure we are going to be pouring this gold casting grain for one lucky customer who has specifically requested something it's not necessarily going to be the new norm but who knows it might be one day if we can't get silver at a decent price so uh, yeah we basically will end up having lots more uh, cost on our silver which is of course not good so that is going to, in my opinion, kill silver because at the moment, if you're lucky and you buy through maybe these group orders or maybe buy from the European dealers, you can pick up, the cheapest silver that you can pick up will probably be approximately, I'm going to say about 15% over spot, including delivery, something like that. So, the, the, you know, the, the difference from here to the USA is incredible and the difference between silver and gold is the big thing as well, I think, because... Uh, you know, if you buy gold in the UK, you can buy it for 2-3% over spot, sometimes less if you have a bulk deal. Uh, so that is, of course, a much, much lower kind of risk threshold if you decide to shut up shop and sell all of your silver or, gold, or sell all of your gold. You can have a low swing on that kind of uh, turnaround price, whereas with silver, you have to hold it for a long time to really get that fast liquidation kind of return. Of course, there are other options, you can take the opportunity to sell all of your silver on eBay. And eBay is a really great place to sell silver at a premium. These, by the way, the 90% silver coins that uh, Mrs. Backyard Bullion and I... Whoops, I'm dropping coins all over the shop today. We'll rescue that little silver dime in a moment. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really... It's a big, big risk to buy a lot of silver at the moment in the UK. And it's going to be an even bigger risk to buy a lot of silver in the UK if you uh, have to pay an additional 20% on it, so 35% shift. So the question will be is whether or not dealers will, you know, their buyback prices, will that increase by 20%? I don't think so. Silver's silver at the end of the day, and they will, uh, in my opinion, just do what they've been doing before and be giving you basically spots. Some dealers give you spots, some dealers are real sort of get eye gouges and they'll give you, you know, 75% of spot for silver. So it depends on where you're going. But I do think like the long, you know, the, the best way of re releasing the equity in a no deal Brexit situation for your silver, uh, if you've bought it in a post Brexit, post no deal Brexit, I hope you're following because it's quite complicated. And this is the whole bloody issue about Brexit. It is absurdly complicated. But in my opinion, if you've bought an Oriental Border Britannia for 22 quid in a post Brexit world from bullion by post or whatever it might be, the best place to sell it would be eBay to get that money back because the market will correct itself in certain ways. You know, if the if the cheapest ounce of silver that anybody can buy from a dealer is an 18, 19 pounds an ounce or whatever it might be with the taxes, people will pay that on 
eBay and the second hand market as well because you know and there's going to be price wars between different sellers and dealers out there and there will be some people who will be just happy to make you know if you buy before Brexit perhaps like a lot of people are here they'll be having to just turn around their profit quickly and make a few pounds an ounce or whatever but there'll be some dealers who want to hold out and sell uh, you know into the low 20s mid 20s for an ounce of silver and i don't think i mean that's just going to kill it for serious serious investors in silver i just don't see um people who want to buy large volumes of silver going into that kind of volume anymore when they have to pay such huge premiums it's just not going to happen so the next potential scenario we are seeing, and uh, it's, again, it's not one of those real real sort of scenarios, I suppose, because it's just a, a holdover, which is, uh, of course, the delay. Now, we've seen some news in the UK in this last couple of weeks about the potential in March for essentially it being either a delay or a deal. So the no deal, fall off the cliff situation appears to be off the cards for the moment. But if it's an extension, then it will essentially just roll over till June or November or whenever it might be um, so we're going to be in the exact same position as we were before and uh, I would imagine that the uh, pantomime I heard that described on the on the radio the pantomime that is the uh, the sort of Brexit situation in Parliament at the moment will continue for another couple of months before we finally get an answer of exactly what's going to happen with Brexit so who knows? So a delay basically puts us in exactly the same situation, which is good news, I suppose, in the short term, because it means we've got a few more months to potentially buy some more silver, and uh, there'll be more group orders if that happens, I'm sure. Now, you may have seen in the last uh, unboxing video, I mentioned that we're going to be doing another little group order, and we are going to do one last hurrah, regardless of the outcome uh, of the voting or whatever it might be, the outcomes that might be of Brexit in the next couple of weeks. Uh, we are going to do one more group order. It's going to be of simple coins only. So the delay, regardless of that, we will be doing more group orders if it's delayed till November or June or whatever. But we're going to do one more in March as well. We've got some platinum here. Platinum is another coin or another metal type which is taxed heavily in the UK. And that will, I mean, platinum is a difficult one. I want to make another video on platinum at some point because I've got some platinum and it's, uh, it's not performing very well. Uh, it's... I guess one of those things that we're going to be holding for an awfully long time until it's actually uh, yielding anything. But, uh, you know, platinum again will, I think, be basically destroyed by a no deal Brexit as an investment coin. We've got some copper for the first time as well in this group order, which is exciting. Some cool copper coins. I do like my copper rounds and these I have to say are pretty cool. I love the, the sort of cogs on that one. Absolutely awesome stuff. Very, very cool indeed. So, uh, yeah, then the last situation, then we have a deal, a deal, deal, deal Brexit. Now, a deal Brexit would be dependent on the deal. The current deals that we have would potentially tie us into a customs union. And that's an important phrase uh, because it basically means that we would have uh, access to the European single market, which would allow us to purchase things from various different countries and then have the wondrous tax Free, I think it's tax free, it's tax reduced basically. Silver that we see. I'm trying to open, there we go. One of these, just to prove to you all that they all have tubes of coins, they are actually filled because I know there's going to be a lot of conspiracy theorists out there probably saying I'm making all of this up uh, with all of these tubes, but they are indeed all full of coins. Hopefully, you can hear them rattling around in there. Very, very much so, full of coins. So a deal Brexit situation would be uh, pretty cool. Uh, it would depend, I suppose, on the deal. The current kind of thinking is that there'd be a deal where we'd be having access to the UK, uh, sorry, the European single market, but that isn't necessarily true. But if the uh, current kind of situation is agreed, we will be able to have um, basically a transition period, which is really important because it would basically mean business as usual for the next two years until we know exactly what's going to happen. But that's all up in the air as well because of what's called the Irish backstop. There's just level after level of confusion and things to think about with Brexit, which is, I guess, part of the real annoyance that uh, I find anyway within this whole kind of world of Brexit. Uh, it's just, you know, there's just too much to too much uncertainty and too much unknowns to, to rectify, which uh, is very frustrating. As a business owner, it's very, fr very, very frustrating because it could be that uh, the backyard bullion brand is uh, is scuppered. We know if we can't sell, or for, sorry, if we can't buy our hand poured silver for any decent price, or buy the grain, I should say, for any decent price, 
you know, it's just not going to be worthwhile doing. At the moment, I can buy my silver grain. This is another little bag of it that came with the uh, last group order. It looks like silver popcorn. How cool is that? Very cool indeed. But, you know, if we can't get access to that, then uh, it's going to be a very interesting time. Now, the good news, I said, well, there's good news and bad news. The good news is that that's not really going to put me off because, you know, I don't really want to... I don't want to stop this, I want it to continue, so if we have to make less money making these, then great. If we need to work out a different solution to doing this, becoming VAT registered, there are different ways of uh, of being able to overall help reduce the cost of things. The good news in that whole situation is for those of you watching in America, it won't really apply to you because, uh, you know, we'll if we do VAT register to reduce the cost of our raw materials, then we don't have to charge VAT to you, so you'll be all sorted. Um, so yeah, there's lots of different permutations with Brexit. I think it's going to be, uh, I don't know. I mean, of course, the the other thing we can do is focus on gold, and I think that's exactly what everybody's everybody I say serious investors in silver are going to turn to, and uh, I see it quite a lot on places like the forum. People already talking about falling over into gold after uh, Brexit, after the no deal Brexit, it just makes more sense. And it's one thing that I think is going to happen. I think silver in the UK will die a slow death if we get a no deal Brexit. I think that if we have a deal Brexit, silver will probably continue as it is. Uh, it's unsure as to whether there will be uh, you know, changes in the VAT rules after a Brexit, because VAT is kind of a European thing. But it's interesting that VAT is not applied on European dealers for silver, but it is in the UK. It's just it's odd. Um, whether or not VAT is going to come back on gold, I don't know. If the UK has the powers to do whatever it wants in the future, they could just whack a 20% levy on gold purchasing, which would, of course, kill precious metal basically in the UK. So, huge huge permutation to talk about. I'd love to know your thoughts on it. Again, this is not a merits or demerits video on Brexit. If you're a Brexiteer, if you're a Lever, or whatever it might be, uh, I don't really care. I'm just, I'm over it now, to be honest. It's just I want to get an answer. I don't really, I, I mean, it sounds horrible, I don't really care. I just want an answer because for me as a small business owner, uh, it's just impossible to plan effectively for the future without knowing what is going to happen and that's the big thing so if anybody from the world of brexit that's got any power stumbles across my humble little video here my message to you is get your act together because it's bloody annoying let me tell you to have what we like 30 days out from brexit and still no answer on what's going to happen uh, it's just ridiculous so anyway rant over on brexit I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this huge pile of silver. It's been really fun to showcase it for you. Mrs. Backyard Bully and I are going to have the wondrous task of organising this and putting it into boxes. We've also got that other box to unbox, which is uh, waiting in the wings, and then we'll showcase the uh, 2019 Oriental Borders and 2019 Dragon Bars at some point too but we have a lot of work ahead of us. If you have enjoyed this video on Brexit, you want to hear more thoughts on Brexit, I mean, I've only, I think I've only touched the surface of it, really. It's just such a huge topic. Uh, then please do let me know down in the comment section. If you'd like to see future videos of this, like the showcase we're going to do, I don't even know where I've put them now, on the 2019 one kilo kookaburra, and the 10 ounce kookaburra, and the one ounce kookaburra, which I threw around the room, then make sure that you hit that subscribe button and if you want to get a notification when those videos go live make sure you hit that alarm bell and if you want to see things like us going through these 90% silver coins listen to, listen to that then hit the subscribe button as well because Mrs Backyard Bully and I really enjoy making those videos showcasing what we find in that big bag that is all thank you one and all for watching make sure you head on over to the silver forum and check out any notifications about the future group orders and if you want to buy your own silver european mint is the place to do so there's a link to their website down below as well have a fantastic time and thank you all for watching please make sure you like share comment and subscribe for more